Your job right now is to simply be and trust. Trust in the guidance you receive and trust in the energy that moves through you that makes you exactly who you are. Satnam, I'm on Devi here offering a general reading, a collective message. As always, take what resonates and disregard the rest. In a sense, you're being called to go with the flow and trusting that the divine creates, the, puts everything in alignment for you, and that they will create the right environment for healing, growth, prosperity, whatever it is that you're praying for or that your soul mission, your blueprint is called to work through and process. Like they're setting up the scenario. Like you're getting the news flash on like the weather, to when to move forward and when to pull back. And this can be an uncomfortable place. Think of like self-care is selfish as a like mindset to work past. Like you taking care of you is necessary for you to align to what the divine is preparing for you. So your energy has to be at its best and it can be extremely challenging because there are days that we are like, I don't feel right but nothing is really going on with me. Well, it could be someone else's energy. Oh, there's a lot of chaos around me. Oh, you're processing the energy around you and creating a new integral alignment. And part of me wants to speak to intrusive thoughts as a comparative to how the energy of others may affect you, but I haven't studied that enough. That just came to mind as I was driving here today. And all I can say is it's kind of like when you cut that cord, no different than when like you're trimming back a bush, you have to continually maintain that energetic boundary because your energy is so strong and there's a magnetic pull between you and others, you and another perhaps, that makes it even more challenging to move ahead. It can be very like drudgery. <laughs> to handle the energetic load, the emotional body that others kind of throw or pitch at you and, and you've got to handle it appropriately. I, I think the word pitch is very different for me. So I'm seeing a baseball field, it's like batter up, not as in like run the bases and in the inappropriate way to talk about sex, more of like you've got to read the ball and the field to know how to swing the bat, okay? And that's part of your self-care. The word initiation is coming up. Um, a kind reminder that sometimes there is an initiation factor in groupthink and sometimes you're called to dispel uh, that paradigm, that mentality of someone breaking you down to fit their mold, right? Um, it, it's kind of similar to like uh, covert narcissist, but really on like a group mentality, uh, so to speak. So I've got some cards out. Let's see what the cards have to say. And I hope you are enjoying your day and this message finds you well. It just reminds you that you're exactly where you need to be, doing exactly what you need to do, or perhaps it's time to put down that phone as you listen to me on social to just rest and unplug, unplug. All right, Valor, persevere, persevere. And the world card, it's the deck split in two when that happened, and the death. So I like seeing the death card with, um, with, words are not coming very well right now, <laughs> with the world card. So it's like everything coming to complete and it's you standing your ground to continue for the greatest good. And again, trusting the divine and trusting yourself because um, sometimes those messages, they don't make sense. Um, and they're coming in a lot stronger these days. So I'm feeling it. And then others have shared with me. It's like, we can't ignore the messages. They don't want us to ignore the messages. They want it to come in clearly. They want you to trust them and continue on your mission. You're called here for a reason. One card just kind of fell out in the grass. 
about wealth. So you're like trusting that if you walk away from something, there's something better for you, whether that's a relationship, a job, a move to another location, there can be resources or opportunities in another location that would serve you better than the location you're at right now. So trust the changes that you were guided to make and trust that you are doing exactly what you need to do and that you were prepared for this mission, this journey in this lifetime. How can we paint the picture for you that you are phenomenal? <laughs> and that this is an epic journey, although it feels. That was another thing I, I wanted to mention that it's important, and I feel like I've said this before, to keep your energy up, keep your energy up, um, so that they can work through you, but it's like you can't get down. All right, burdens and manifesting. Burdens and manifesting. I'm taking that with the t 10 and the 3. I started to add those words together. This world would be a good place. So how can you create the world that you need for you? Not to adhere and, and bow down to someone or something or someone else. Or something else. Like, drop that. <laughs> I don't try to understand everything in nature. I just look at it and enjoy it. How can you enjoy this journey? How can you trust, trust, trust what the divine is giving, working, like you becoming, you being is important, that energy. And it comes back to like the bee. The bee is an integral part of our existence. And yet they're small <laughs> and they're sensitive and they cuddle in flowers and they float around and they work together and they protect. They have this communal way of living. Like, like don't underestimate your energy and what you bring to the table. All right, one more deck. This is a beautiful deck. I always like the decks with the gold, <laughs> gold edges. What a beautiful day. Maybe it's time to get out of nature. Rest deeply, 44 to 8. And the word congruent. What's incongruence with you? And if you're not sure, if you're feeling confused, take time to rest, take time to unplug and tune into you. So unplugging from the community and the chaos and plug into the divine, your source, your guides. Oh, I love this. Love, keep bringing love to the table. Just like the bees pollinate, your love as an energy pollinates and breathes life on this planet. Don't be ashamed of being open-hearted, loving, and compassionate. Do send you lots of love on your journey, wishing you well. There's something more, there's something more. I don't know what it is, embrace your magnificence. Um, there is another reading I have. You might look at that. Um, Magnificat is something to consider. Um, calling in Mother Mary's energy. Again, sending lots of love. Sent